Good day! In this second video, I will be discussing the next topic of the lessons in the Module 3 in Institutional Correction. But before anything else, first is I needed to read my presentation before I gave my word of discussion. So in this topic, we will be, I mean, I will be discussing the brief history of the Bureau of Corrections in the Philippines. I will discuss the history of the Bureau of Corrections of where it originated and how it is being developed. So here in the Philippines, before, in the history, the corrections in the Philippines started during the pre-colonial times. So the corrections in the Philippines, during, um, it was started during the pre-colonial times in which it is being ruled by Spanish. So it was, however, organized on individual community basis. It was only during the Spanish regime when an organized corrective service was made operational. So these corrective ser services was made operational in the pre-colonial pre times in the Spanish regime. It was a community base in the history of corrections in this during these pre-colonial times. So, when the Americans took over in the 90s, the Bureau of Prisons was created under the Reorganization Act of 1905 or Act Number 1407, dated November 1, 1905. During the Americans' period, who took over in 90s, the Bureau of Prison was created. So. So, this Bureau of Prisons before was created by the Americans. So, from Spanish to American period. The main penitentiary was the old believed prison in Oroquita Street, Manila, established in 1847. It was formally opened by a royal decree in 1865. So way back before, the main penitentiary or prison here in the Philippines is the old believed prison which are found in Orqueta Street, Manila in Montin Lupa. About four years later on, August 21, 1869, the San Ramon Prison and Penal Farm in Zamboanga City was established to confine Muslim rebels and recalcitrant political prisoners opposed to the Spanish rule. So, after um, old believed prison, there was, a, there was a new prison that has been established which is the San Ramon Prison and Penal Farm, which is located in Zamboanga City. They imprison those Muslim rebels and recalcitrant political prisoners who oppose the rules of the Spanish. When the Americans took over in the 19th, the Bureau of Prison was created under the Reorganization Act of 1905 as an agency under the Department of Commerce and Police. So this um, Reorganization Act of 1905 was under the Department of Commerce and Police in which it is being established by the Americans. It was also paved the way for the re-establishment of San Ramon Prison in 1907. So in the year 1907, the San Ramon Prison in Zamboanga City was re-established. So San Ramon Prison, which was um, 
destroyed during the Spanish and American War. So this prison was destroyed because due to the Spanish and American War before. On January 1, 1915, the San Ramon prison was placed under the auspice of the Bureau of Prisons and started receiving prisoners from Min the now. So the San Ramon prison was placed under the Bureau of Prison which has been established by the Americans in the 90s in the Republic Act of Reorganization, Reorganization Act of 1905. So this San Ramon prison before they only um, imprisoned those um, Muslim rebels but now that they are under the Bureau of Prison, they are now started um, receiving prisoners from Mindanao. Um, the San Ramon prison produced were transported to rail, rock, rail trucks and mood which the Americans introduced to prison. So the Americans introduced rail tracks as a mood of transportation that has been um, introduced to prisons here in the Philippines. So these Americans have contributed in the development of the Bureau of Corrections here in the Philippines because way back before when they took over the correctional institution here in the Philippines, first as they established the Reorganization Act of 1905 then second they introduced to the prisons here in the Philippines the rail track as a mode of transportation before the recon reconstruction of the San Ramon prison the Americans established in 1904 the Iuit uh, Penal Settlement now is a white prison and penal farm so from old believed prison, there was a second prison that has been established by the Americans before the San Ramon prison and penal farm, so which is the Iwahig prison and penal farm on a vast reservation of 28,072 hectares. So this Iwahig penal um, prison was located on the westernmost part of the archipelago the area was expanded to 11 i mean to 41,007 uh, 41, hectares by virtue of executive order number 67 issued by government newton gilbert on october 15 1912 so this, um, um, the Awai uh, prison and penal farm was expanded to more than 41,007 hectares under the virtue of Executive Order Number 67, which has been issued by Government Newton Gilbert. Other penal colonies were established during the American regions. So there are a lot of uh, penal colonies that has been established during this American regime. On November 27, 1929, the Correctional Institution for Women or CIW was created under the Act number of 3579. The CIW or the Correctional Institution for Women was founded to provide a separate facilities for women offenders and to cater the gender difference so the ciw was purposely made in order to cater those um women offenders it is to separate them from men in order to have uh in order to prevent such things um from happening to date, it is the lone women's prison in the country. While double panel colony in southern um, Mindanao was opened in 1932 under the Act Number 
So, we have uh, the, if we will um, um, timely the, uh, I mean, if we organize these um, prisons in the Philippines before, so we have the old, I mean, the old believed prison, the Iwai Penal Colony, then third is we have the San Ramon Prison, fourth is the Constitutional Institution for Women, and then now we have the Davao Penal Colony. So most of these penal colonies was being established by the Americans. So we could say that uh, that during the American region, they contribute more on the development of the Bureau of Corrections here in the Philippines. So owing to the increasing number of um, committals to the old believed prison in Manila, the new believed prison was established in 1935 in a southern suburb of Rizal. So, because of the increasing numbers of offenders in the old believed prison, it was um, um, re um, it was um, become reorganized or reestablished as the new believed prison. So from all from um, old believed prison, it became to new believed prison. The old prison was transformed into a receiving center and a storage facility for farm produce coming from the colonies. It is presently abandoned and under the jurisdiction of the public estate authority. Prisoners have to build their basic housing areas using materials available in the prison reservations. So during these um, times, the prisoners have to build their own housing areas in order for them to have a place in the prisons. After the American region, two more panel institutions was established. These were the Sablayan Prison and Penal Farm in Occidental Mindoro under the proclamation number of 72 issued on September 26, 1954 and Leyte Regional Prison under proclamation number um, 1101 issued to issue on January 16, 1973. So after the American region, um, there was more um, there are uh, other two penal colonies that has been established. So the Bureau of Prisons was renamed Bureau of Corrections. So before we have the Bureau of Prisons and now it was renamed as Bucor or the Bureau of Corrections under the new administrative code of 1987 issued on November 23, 1987 and proclamation number 495 of the president. It is one of the attached agencies under the supervision and control of the Department of Justice. So, Bureau or Bureau of Corrections is one of under agency of the Department of Justice. So, um, Bureau of Correction was being developed during the Spanish and American region in which if we look back, Americans have established more and developed our Bureau of Corrections here in the Philippines because the Americans have been established um, more on Five panelists, if I am not mistaken, and they even introduced us to the ways of transportation, which is the rail tracks, and they even reestablished these panel colonies in order to have more convenient to accommodate more prisoners from different areas here in the Philippines. So these are the brief history of the Bureau of Corrections here in the Philippines.